Hey, it's Sammy D. This is Cart Life, and this is the 300 subs, level 99, 10,000 views, 10,000 coins, Bad Wagon Special. That's right. We're going to celebrate today a big day in my game and for the channel. All these things coming together. First of all, the 300 subscriptions. Thanks so much. Everyone, welcome to the channel. Just started this channel totally for fun. I had this like feeling I should do it. I do all sorts of other things. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. I'm a musician and touring, but now of course I'm home all the time. And I love Mario Kart, been loving it since 1992. And I just had this idea to start Mario Kart Tour Channel. And thanks to the character video and everyone who showed up for that one right here, 10,000 views hit just last night. So amazing. I didn't think uh, I'd get this many subscribers or viewers. So it's a nice sign that folks want me to make be continue doing this and I will if I can. And on the same day I got 10,000 views, I got 10,000 coins in my bank in Mario Kart Tour and the final daily select high end I do not have the bad wagon is in my shop today and I'm gonna get it. So it'll be a very nice prize for us to celebrate and also hitting player level 99, finally. You know, everyone's been doing the player level at a different pace. Some people just grinded really hard at the beginning of the game and got to the level 99 real fast. Some people like take their time, they're not really invested in player level and they get the rewards whenever they hit them. I'm mean, kind of in the middle sometimes. I'll like, if I'm getting close to the next player level, I'll definitely try to grind a little bit and hit it so I can get those rubies or coins. And so playing every day Mario Kart Tour for one or two hours, it's crazy to think about since September or whenever the launch was. Finally, we are at player level 99. And as you probably know, there is no reward or anything at all really for getting to player level 99. There's 100 coins because we're not on an even five player level spot, but there's no level 100. There's no Ruby reward. There's no badge. There's not even any kind of accomplishment or challenge. It's going to be weird not having XP anymore, but what we're going to do is just play a little bit right now and just kind of hang out. I'm at 82.2% uh, of 98. We'll do some Donut Plains runs. Of course, you get more XP from the new courses like Donut Plains, Bowser's Castle 2 right now. And yeah, I'll just talk a little bit about the channel and the things I have and we'll hit 99. We'll grab the bad wagon and then we out of here. Of course, Yoshi Tour just announced this morning. I'll have more to say about that tomorrow. Stay tuned. All right, so let's just do a little playing. We're gonna go to Donut Plains 1T in the current ranked cup. Um, I've already got what I needed. By the way, um, if you saw my last video about all the different ticket strategies I might need to employ to upgrade things for ranked cup ticket to number one, I did get to number one. It took a fair amount of grinding, a couple hours worth of play the other day. And I had to do every upgrade I mentioned. All, the, all that talk about like, oh, do this one first. And then, you know, you won't have to do this other one. You can save a ticket. I had to do every upgrade I had at my disposal. Gold Koopa, uh, Larry, the air, the land ship, the um, all the the tea coop, everything except Bowser. I've not yet upgraded. I made it to first by, as you can see, just seventy points, seventy nine points. So <laughs> I'm not. I won't be surprised if one of these guys jumps back up to one on Sunday or Monday or Tuesday. So hopefully not. But if so, maybe I'll get that Bowser and I'll get to get a little more points out of this. But I have done well. I got up to seventeen eight on Donut Plains. We're gonna do some runs on this just because. We're getting XP and we'll cross the threshold uh, for 99. So, you know, with my uh, with my game, just wanted to kind of give a summary of where I'm at. Some people have been asking, like, are you a, a pay to win player? Now, you know, this is a very like complex and controversial, as I burn out, yeesh, um, topic. I would say, in my opinion, I'm not a pay to win player. Here's what I've done. I am a Gold Pass subscriber. When the game came out, you know, I was so hyped for this game. I was also very skeptical. I was very skeptical that a game like this could work. Um, by the way, it's really hard to talk and play, I'm realizing. I, I need to practice this more. Um, but I was very skeptical of the game. Um, turns out it, <laughs> I thought, was really good, even though there's these gotcha components, there's these pay to win elements, pay to have advantages for sure. Um, and the gotcha system is really crazy. I don't have a lot of experience with gotcha games. So, but when the gold pass, on day one, when the gold pass thing was announced, I was like, yeah, that's a no brainer, $5 a month. Okay, it's a free to buy game. Um, the rationale I came up with, and there's always a rationale, um, is that a year of gold pass is 60 bucks. 60 bucks is the price of a Switch game new. So I'm thinking, will I get a year's worth of enjoyment out of this game? Uh, or just like a normal game's worth of enjoyment? Yeah, I think I will. I mean, little did I know I would be playing one to two hours every day. Honestly, there is no Mario Kart game that has ever come out, and I've played all of them to death, but none of them have um, had me playing one or two hours a day. I mean, I've gotten more enjoyment out of this game, honestly, than 
any other Mario Kart game. I'm, I'm not saying it's the best Mario Kart game. Um, it's not even an official game, some people might say, but honestly, I think the $5 value for Gold Pass is absolutely not just worth it as something to consider, but it is, it's almost like when you're playing without Gold Pass, you're not really playing the game. It's almost like you want to think of it as Gold Pass is required to get the most out of the game. And you certainly do. All the rewards you get, the characters, the Gold Pass gifts. I have one uh, <laughs> free-to-play player friend, um, and it's just, you know, I it's hard seeing, uh, you know, they don't want to pay the $5 for Gold Pass. Fair enough. No judgment there, but it's hard seeing kind of the potential of the game not really get unlocked when you go on Gold Pass. So there's Gold Pass, so in a way, you could say the Gold Pass itself is pay to win. If you're truly free to play, you wouldn't have Gold Pass. Obviously, I'm not gonna say I'm completely free to play because I'm using Gold Pass. When it comes to other pay to win things like bundles and stuff, a little non-stop with the tea coop, that's nice. I haven't looked inside this thing, I like looking in. The pedals are a little, I, I missed it, but the pedals are little lemon uh, wedges. My friend then told me, but you know, I have bought a couple bundles and people have asked me that. So like, have you, what have you bought? Have you spent, how much money have you spent on the game? So I've bought just, I want to be fully transparent. Like there's no reason uh, not to be for like a channel like this, but personally I've bought maybe four or five bundles since launch. So six months, I bought like four or five bundles. Now that's, and they're usually the 1999 bundles. So maybe there was one time I bought a $40 bundle when I was like really wanting a big injection, a stimulus of rubies in my game. Um, but I think that was like for my birthday, basically, you know, like stuff like that. I don't know. There's ooh, coin box frenzy. It, it might be that in these, in these runs, we might get an amazing run for rank. So let me just see if that's about to happen real quick. Starting with a coin box frenzy is not bad for rank. Let's focus for a second here. You know, when I showed you all my lines, I hadn't really got good at these tracks yet because I hadn't done a lot of grinding. So lines are much more dialed in now. I get the full combos all the time. Let's see what happens here. If we get one more frenzy, this could be a record run. Should we use a ticket? I think we should. Yep. Green shell frenzy is terrible though. Let's see what we can do. My record's what, 17,000? I just said. Oh man, a coin frenzy would have been so clutch. This is gonna be non-stop combo. With, oh, my finger slipped. So, 16.9, we came <laughs> close to my record just there. But yeah, I bought four or five bundles. And so, wow, okay, $100, geez, that's a lot. Um, I get that. Um, for those of us who have a little bit of disposable income, of course, I bought most of these toys and things I have like over the course of my life. I'm not like spending tons of money on just random collectibles these days, especially in the pandemic we're in right now. It's like I'm saving my money for sure. And I haven't bought anything for sure since this uh, kind of lockdown started and I'm starting to budget out the next several months. Uh, but you know, we all do have a little bit of disposable income from time to time. And, you know, whether you spend it on like toys or books or records or uh, traveling or restaurants, uh, going to the movies, drinks, you know, going out for drinks with your friends can be like a, a $50 bar tab, things like this. It's like you start realizing I'm very good at <laughs> maybe for better or worse, like being able to rationalize a purchase. Like, okay, if I'm going to spend $20 for a night out going to the movies by myself and buying refreshments, like... I would almost rather buy 45 rubies and a bundle and like have a lot of fun doing a little better in the game. It's it's just like a way of, and there have been even times, famously I keep bringing up, when I was in the Nintendo store in New York, I bought this sweatshirt and I bought some things for my boy, they call me Solo, but really I, I was standing there in line with all this stuff in my hands. I had like $40 of Nintendo merch and it was that weekend that Pit Crew Toad came out Toad is my favorite, and Pit Crew Toad was the first like bundle character that I really wanted to get. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put this stuff back and spend the twenty dollars on Pit Crew Toad. Like, it would make me happier. And so, like, I will come up with ways to rationalize the bundles, but I certainly it's not something I do every tour or regularly at all. And I don't plan on making it a habit at all. You know, it's not like I don't have a gambling 
gambler's instinct, although this game does like kind of put you in that position of having to think about those things. Oh man, blue shell right at the end, falling off the ramp, that sucks. Hope I get, ugh. Okay, so third and above, you get a little XP at least, so we're getting that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I, I don't, I definitely have not bought rubies outright. Um, the idea of just like paying for the rubies doesn't make any sense to me. We're at 89.8%. Um, so you keep going on Donut Plans 1T. We could do Bowser's, but well, we could do some Bowser's runs on the ranked. I've done, I did that one a lot more. I feel like I'm almost drained on that one. This could be drained any time now. You could use the whole 100% uh, that you get from a track. We might have to go somewhere else to get to 99, but anyway, I feel fine about the bundles I bought. I mean, like it's a lot over time, but it's just like, I will literally say, Okay, I'm not going to buy this other thing I wanted to buy, and instead I'm going to buy this bundle. You know, it's like, if you can in your own budget, and I am no financial advisor, I'm definitely not giving you any financial advice, so do not get me wrong there. Um, but just for me, I've been able to make the decisions to buy those at times when it was doable for me. So it's not, I, do, I don't like to consider myself a pay to win player because, uh, but you know, a lot of people have a very strict definition of that and that's fine if you do anyway enough about that that's where i'm at in the game um you know it's i've gotten where i've gotten to 99 and with generally doing well in ranked and kind of amassing a nice inventory of things basically just from playing every day i've played the game an hour or two every day i can't believe it just saying that like i don't know how i found the time but i did i guess you everyone has leisure time every day they have an hour or two of leisure time and how do you choose to spend it? I watch a lot of films and usually, God, I gotta get above third place here. Um, I watch a lot of films and like shows, everyone watches shows. So, you know, it's like what you do with your free time. I haven't played a lot of other games. Thankfully I've gotten, you know, Odyssey and Breath of the Wild and those kind of games done. Animal Crossing is making it a little tough right now. Um, but honestly, the way the game has evolved, I've been getting my 300 coins a day, limit breaking every day, getting the 400 coins a day about and it's just playing and very micro strategies, you know, very strategic use of all your tickets and kind of like how you play the game. I'm, I'm like trying to play a real long game here and be real smart about everything I do in the game. And I feel that's more than buying things. Honestly, it's what has helped me. I mean, I'll, oftentimes I'm, if I buy a bundle, it's for rubies so that I can do some more tin pulls. And you know, the chance of a tin pull getting you the thing you really need, if you've watched my videos, you'll know that it's, it's more unlikely than it is likely you get the thing you actually need when you do 10 pulls it's more about um, building your long-term inventory let's get to first place here i'm ready to hit this 99 want to give shout outs right now to like the other mario kart tour youtubers that have like made just great content through this game abdallah of course uh first guy i started watching um you know really kind of pioneering the limit break strategies and some great ranked cup uh you know, run throughs and then go shiny hunter. I've mentioned a couple times. I love his ranked cup. Um, like his line videos that show exactly how to maintain combos through those tracks. Shout out to go shiny hunter. Shout out to my boy Yoshi bear. And, uh, yeah, everyone else that's but shout out to you guys. Shout out to everyone watching. What I want to hear from y'all is a couple things. We're at 93.5, a couple things. I want to know, leave a comment below. Tell me, how long have you been playing the game? Have you been playing since day one, New York tour, New York minute, or are you coming in just now to the game? If you're coming in just now to the game, what's that like? Like, what is it like having to do ranked and build, try to get all these characters? Like I can imagine it must be strange and, and really hard and tricky, or is it really fun? I mean, a part of me has this fantasy of what would it be like to start over the game? You know, I'm not going to, but, um, or if you've been playing like halfway through, just like, I just general survey, just leave a comment and tell me when you started playing the game. Just totally curious to know. And also what is the thing you most want? What is the item, the driver, cart or glider that you've been, been holding out for the longest? For me, the full flight glider from the original Tokyo tour and Hakama Mario. Those are the two I really want. I love Japan. It's my favorite country to visit. Um, I've been like six times, love it so much, of course, birthplace of Nintendo, 
and I love the Japanese tours they've done, the two Tokyo tours, the first one and then the uh, New Year's tour. Um, and yeah, that full flight, I've got the New Year's Japanese glider and I got uh, Happy Mario and I got Kimono Peach, but I really would love Hakama if he comes back at some point in the full flight. Now, the other thing I have been waiting since day one to get is the bad wagon. And today it is in my shop. Um, the B Dasher just arrived for me actually a week or two ago. We're at 96.6. I think it's gonna be two more first place wins to get to 99. B Dasher was the, the most recent one to come. I, I saw B Dasher and bad wagon, like they've each appeared both like twice, maybe three times at the most since launch. And whenever it's come, I just don't have those 10,000 coins. And so like, you know, building up my super gliders took a lot of coins and like, I don't even have all of them built up. Ooh, coin frenzy to start. Let's, let's look at this rod real quick. Coin box frenzy. It's actually like hard to get a lot of the coins in the coin box frenzy. I would rather have a coin frenzy honestly, between the two of them. Oh, I love getting all three of those coins. This is a good run so far. I got protection. You know, I'll, I'll, I kind of measure like where I want to be, like five at the line, and this is six at the line, so that's really good. I never have auto item on. I, I, I want to make sure I use them, use the items when, when exactly I want to use them, you know? This is a good run. Oh, no! Okay, I maintain combo. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh my gosh. I used the item ticket too soon, but it was a banana frenzy. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna come out of this with more items. Yes, look at that. Oh my God, this is a run. I don't think I hit a lot of people. 17-6? I think I just beat my record. Oh my God. If this crosses over. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait. If I just beat my record and hit 99, that's that's quite uh, magical. Wow, okay, here we are, 99. I'm gonna get 100 coins, that's it. That's what it looks like, folks. That's about it. All five toes there to congratulate me. Um, <laughs> let's see if this is a record. That would be insane. Hey, why are you frozen? Okay. Oh, it's just barely not a record. My record was 17.8, 16.45 on this one. Man, pretty close though. That would have been epic, but okay, we did it, level 99. Wow, guys. Last thing I wanna hear from y'all just is anything else you wanna see for this channel. Like, I have lots of ideas. I don't know how sustainable it is to do lots of high production videos all the time. I'm trying to do a couple a week. Uh, but it's hard. It's hard to do it. And, you know, I don't even have lots of gear. I need a new mic. I need, I like, I just want to know what y'all respond to. Obviously, everyone responded to the character wish list. I want to do my top tracks of all time. I want to do original tour ideas that I've had for the game that could be really cool that tap into the vast history of the Mario games. Really excited to put those together. I mean, I want to do like my list of favorite carts and gliders and things I love driving with, things like that. Um, but yeah, and also track histories. I would love to get a setup where I can easily record from an emulator the old Mario Kart games and kind of like play the different games and talk about the track histories. I did a little bit with the Donut Planes video recently. I would love to do more like that, but y'all let me know what you would like to see in the channel. Leave a comment below. And also like Discord uh, message board, if that interests you guys, if you wanna talk about your scores there in the framework of Cart Life, the YouTube channel, and I could interact with y'all there. If that's something that y'all would be interested in, just let me know. And if you have any other requests or like if I should like start a Patreon and y'all wanna like throw me a few dollars every now and then or some Cart Life merchandise, Cart Life pin, Cart Life shirt, anything like that, ideas, I'm open to them, I'm game, let me know. Uh, last thing, I wanna get this bad wagon. This is my reward for level 99. Since the game's not giving me anything, ugh, that sucks. I don't know if they're ever gonna expand past level 99, we'll see. Um, what level are you, by the way? Let me know. So let's just do it. Let's go to the shop and get my level 99 present to myself, which is going to be the bad wagon. Yes, finally. And with that, I have every daily select item there is. Let's look at the carts. And the thing about the bad wagon that's nice, as I mentioned, is I've saved my high-end cart tickets. So I will be able to take this to level two. In fact, I would be able to, I think, take it to three. Let's see what the difference is between a level two and a level three. 
So yeah, I could take it to level three if it's, now check this out. Here's a little crystal ball uh, action for you. We hold down on the tracks for Badwagon. We have Yoshi Circuit R. Now, Yoshi Circuit, Yoshi Tour, Yoshi Tour just announced, Yoshi Circuit 1 and Yoshi Circuit T were shown in the Tour preview. So I was thinking, oh gosh, Yoshi Circuit or Yoshi Circuit T or maybe R are definitely gonna be featured in the Ranked probably next week, we can assume. Now, we don't know if there's a new track. So far, they're not showing any kind of new track or a new retro track. We can assume definitely one of the Yoshi Circuit's gonna be in there, so we can kind of like think about, okay, what's required? I looked through this and Yoshi Circuit's not in this tour at all, so I had to go into YouTube and find some videos of folks playing Yoshi Circuit, all three versions, and remind myself of what are the top tiers. So for Yoshi Circuit R, you got Peach at the top, um, then you got, at the top, you got the bad wagon and this, uh, what's it called? The Mach 1 or whatever. Um, and top gliders, shell glider, which is the only super glider I haven't taken to six just because it has such a low uh, track value and the bullet glider. So these are things to think about. Regular Yoshi circuit, it's got Yoshi. So want to see where your Yoshi's at in prep for the next tour. And again, they're gonna have a, a, a spotlight or some new Yoshi variant for top tier for sure. For cart on Yoshi circuit, you got the Yoshi cart, which I've got at like level three or four, I think, which is very good. You got the circuit special or the black circuit. Yeah. And then the black B dasher. Uh, glider is just that regular parachute. So if it's in the shop, go ahead and look at that. Look at your ticket, start grabbing it. Uh, and the rainy balloon, the cloud glider. For Yoshi Circuit T, Daisy's also in there. So check out your Daisy just for a little prep. The birthday girl was listed at the time for top shelf on Yoshi Circuit. And we get birthday girl all the time in pipes, but I just checked birthday girl on the app and it's not listing Yoshi Circuit T. I know they do change the courses every now and then for stuff. So I'm a little confused about that. We'll see if birthday girl still applies, but you have the Black Bee Dasher again, the Kabuki Dasher, and then the circuit special. And then look at that for T again, the shell glider. Shell glider's in my shop today as well. I really do want to kind of level up that shell glider, um, but with the 10,000 coins that just dropped, I'm not going to be able to buy a lot of them the next few days if they appear. So keep an eye out for shell glider. And that's it. So I just wanted to look at the Yoshi uh, circuit tracks real quick. It looks like we'll have one of them probably. And the bad wagon looks like it's going to come in just in the nick of time. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Stay tuned tomorrow for a fun video I'm going to try to post. And uh, yeah, all you 300 subscribers, appreciate y'all so much. Thanks for the comments. Be kind, be safe, stay home, be well, and we'll see y'all next time at Sammy D Cart Life. Take care.